Hi, right, guys. Um, sorry about the lighting. It's really hard to get the lighting just right in here because of, there's so many windows in here and the light comes in the window and I didn't feel like moving all of my stuff into the other room because this isn't going to be a very long video. Um, <clears throat> give me just a second. My throat is so dry. I should have had drink water before I started this. <clears throat> but anyway... I just wanted to make this video because I just did a post, a, a community post about a video that I just got through watching, and I encourage all of you to watch it. It's about the Mexican cartels and increasing their control in the state of California, and it goes right along with, with a lot of the things that we've been talking about. And it got me thinking about a couple things. <clears throat> Boy, my allergies are kicking my butt today. Sorry about that. But it got me thinking about a couple things. Um, it kind of goes along with the information that Squirrel Girl came out with this morning. Uh, she and I had already discussed this yesterday. And it's very enlightening what she talked with Nick about. And I asked her, I said, how did he come across? Did he sound believable? Did it, did, do you think that what he's saying is true? And, of course, Squirrel Girl is nobody's fool. She's a very intelligent lady. She and I have had many conversations I have the ultimate respect for her and for her judgment and her opinion. And Nick was very adamant that it was Kylie that he saw that Saturday. And I've said the whole time, and a lot of you argued with me, I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. I said the whole time that the, the actions, the way she acted, the way she was trying to get away from the guy, I said, that does not sound like two people trying to keep Nick from discovering a body in the back. I also said that nobody's stupid enough to call a service driver to service a car that has the possibility of being towed with a dead body in the back. Common sense. Anyway. <laughs> I rest my case. But Nick was very adamant that that was Kylie that he saw at Boca Reservoir. And that she was acting like she wanted to avoid the guy and get away from him. Now, why was she trying to get away from him? Here's my theory. Watching this video about the Mexican cartels really got the little hamsters in my head running on the wheel. And here's just some things to think about. Hang on just a second. Okay, Copper was being bad dog. <laughs> it doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. Um, he's a good dog for the most part, though. But anyway, now I lost my train of thought. Um, oh, yeah, you got me thinking. That autopsy report, and I know that many of you have said the same thing as me, that autopsy, who was it done on? Why did they not, did they not send DNA? Why did not, they not check dental records and say she had no dental records, which we know is absolute crap? There's no such thing as a child that doesn't have medical records from a doctor, that doesn't have dental records from a dentist. And we know she had braces. She's obviously been to a dentist. They don't think there's any put braces on your teeth home kits. So 
there's obviously a lot of lies. A lot of lies. The only way that they identified her on the autopsy is the deputy walking in and saying, oh yeah, that's her. When they already previously said that she was unrecognizable due to decomposition. They also said she had no scars, marks, or tattoos at the beginning, but they later retracted that, probably because someone told them, oh, no, she had surgery on her wrist, and blah, blah, blah. Also, when they did mention the tattoo, somebody had told them, obviously, that she had a 17 tattoo, and they did mention that on the autopsy, but they had it in the wrong place. They said it was on her hip, when we know for a fact that it was on her ribs just below her chest. There's a lot of shady crap going on here, people. All right, so let's take that. Let, let, let's take the, the, the things that they said in the autopsy report that make us think, and even a couple of the medical experts have said it, I don't even think they did an autopsy looking at this report. Then they probably didn't. So we've got this person, we assume. I mean, we assume that there, there was somebody in the vehicle. Well, actually, Nick Rand did see somebody in there, so. But that doesn't necessarily mean it was Kylie. So we've got this autopsy report, right? We have this autopsy report that is flawed, to say the least. There's enough evidence there to make all of us think, and I know that many of my viewers have said the same thing that I'm saying right now. That may have not been her in that vehicle. It may just have been some druggie that they killed and stuck in there. Knowing that eventually that vehicle was going to be found because that water was going to keep dropping. So, we've got the autopsy report. That may or may not have been Kylie. I tend to think it wasn't now. But everything else that's coming to light. We have Nick, who told Squirrel Girl that he was 100% sure and then said 1,000% sure that the girl that he saw that day was Kylie. And the reason that he approached AWP was not, as many of you have said, to distract them from going to Prosser. That was not the case at all. He saw her at Boca. He saw Kylie at Boca, as I have repeatedly said before. She was scared. She didn't was trying to get away from the guy that she was with. What are all these trips to Mexico? Kylie goes down there with Mags and her mom. You see Jagger going into Mexico. We have several people who said Jagger was at the party, even though he denied it. Although he did say it once on, a, on an interview. News interview. But then changed the story. We have the cops saying, oh yeah, we Jagger's cleared. We verified everything. Yeah, I don't believe a damn thing you say Nevada County or Placer County or the FBI or CHP. I don't believe a damn thing any of you say because you were all involved in this cover-up. Now, what did Nick say? Nick say the footage did exist. He said that he gave the footage to two different law enforcement agencies 
who later both denied that it existed, even though it was given to them. We then later have his own company, for whatever reason, trying to say, oh, you weren't even up there. And them covering it up. They probably were threatened. And you're just saving their butts by saying that. But why would they do that? Why would law enforcement so want to cover up the fact that Nick saw Kylie there on Saturday? Hmm? Any ideas? I've got one. I believe she was trafficked. I don't think she's dead. I don't. I think she's in Mexico. I don't know who the girl was that they pulled out of that car. But according to everything that autopsy report said, that wasn't Kylie. I think she was trafficked. And I think she was trying, just like I said before, I said I, I said before, I thought she was trying to signal Nick that something was wrong. But she was afraid if she came outright. And, and a lot of people, look, and this is where people can be so stupid. You don't know how these things go. I know. I've been involved with it. I was a cop for 10 years. I've been involved with it. I know. And people say, well, she should have just gone and jumped in this track. Or she just said, you are so stupid. You've got a 16-year-old girl who is scared to death. Sorry, copper. <laughs> She's scared to death. She doesn't know what to do. Plus, she's afraid if she goes right to Nick and says, this guy's trying to kidnap me, he may shoot both of them. We don't know that. He may have had a weapon. And he probably did. And that's why she didn't come right out and say something to Nick. And people are so stupid making comments saying, well, she just should have just done this. She should have just been outright about it. She just, you are an idiot. That's a good way to get killed. I've seen where girls tried to do that. Where a guy tried to, where she tried to signal the guy and the guy tried to help her. And both of them ended up dead. It just irritates me when people make stupid statements like that. They're not, it never, you've never been in that kind of situation. You don't know what's going through, what would be going through Kylie's head. Making idiotic statements like, well, she should have just, no, no. That is not the way a person in that kind of situation acts. They're walking on eggshells. They're scared to death. They know that maybe any wrong move is going to get them both killed. Anyway. It just pisses me off. I'm sorry. When people that have no clue what the hell they're talking about start making statements like that. And I said from the very beginning that the way that she acted was the, would, was, had to have been Kylie. Because... You know, they were saying, well, they were trying to keep Nick from the back. No, they weren't. She was trying to get away from the guy. Listen to, go back and watch AWP's video and see what Nick says. She was trying to get away from the guy. She was probably trying to get Nick's attention with the guy, but the guy wasn't letting her do it because every time she'd go to the other side of the vehicle, he'd come over there where she was to make sure that she didn't signal him. It's not the first time I've seen something like that, people. Man, one of these days, people learn, that I know what the hell I'm talking about. Maybe not. Either way, I know what the hell I'm talking about. Now, I'm not saying that that wasn't Kylie in the car. I'm saying there's evidence to make me think and make you think that it wasn't her in that autopsy. Why did they have to list all these things that were <laughs> absolutely wrong 
and then go back and try to retract them later in the document. And, like I said, <laughs> say that she had a tattoo but put it in the wrong place. Let me tell you something. There is a big difference between up here just below my chest and then clear down to here on my hip. There's like a, I don't know, at least two foot difference there. I don't know what it would have been on Kylie, but it's still a considerable distance from just under your chest down to your hip. I don't think that was Kylie in that autopsy. I think it was faked. There was either an autopsy done on another body that was taken out of Kylie's car. Or there was one that, you know, or it wasn't done at all. It was just a bunch of made up crap. Look, you've seen the medical valuations on this. You had a couple that thought it was legit, which merely makes me question their credibility. And then you have Nick saying that he was a thousand percent sure that it was Kylie he saw that Saturday. So then we have to ask ourselves, when did the car go into the water? And why wasn't proper identification done on the autopsy? Why wasn't their DNA sample set? Why wasn't their dental records checked? The only proof of who it was was the deputy walking in and saying, Oh yeah, that's her. That's her right there. Yeah. He does that after, earlier in the report, it says she was unrecognizable. How would he know? How would this deputy know that it was Kylie? I mean, maybe he knew the family personally, but even then, if she was unrecognizable, there's no way he could just walk in there and say, yeah, it's her. So why didn't they do the proper procedures? Why didn't they send in DNA? Why didn't they send, check dental records? Next question. Why did, I think, now Squirrel Girl didn't say who the law enforcement agencies were, but it didn't take much for me to figure it out. I guarantee it was the Shannon Moon in the Nevada County Sheriff's Office came in and put the kibosh on that video footage. And I guarantee you right now, if there was video footage, it was destroyed. It no longer exists. Why'd they do that? Why, if this video footage actually showed Kylie on it, why did law enforcement swoop in, and then the next thing you know, even though Nick showed it to both, to two different law enforcement agencies, I don't know who the two were, but I imagine Nevada County was one of them since they were in charge of the investigation, and the other one was either CHP or FBI. And they're all dirty. They're one of them. And I'm not saying every individual in those departments is, but the department itself and the people who are making these decisions are dirty. And they need to go down. Why, I mean, that's a very legitimate a, a, a question that we need to ask. Why did they come in, come swooping in and say, we got to do away with this footage. Oh, it doesn't exist. It never existed. Outright lies. If the video footage showed Kylie, what possible reason would they have for covering that up? I can only think of one. She was trafficked. And then they put the car in the water, put a body in the car, who nobody else saw except for the people involved in the cover-up. 
They put a body in the car, took it, did an autopsy, cremated it as soon as possible. Don't forget that. Mm Mm-hmm. There's a reason all this stuff happened, people, and I think you and I both know why. I think the cartel is involved. I think Nevada County Sheriff's Office is involved because they're involved with the cartel. And I think Kylie was trafficked. Next question. It's obvious that Lindsay and Tony were in desperate need of money. That's why Lindsay stole, and I mean stole, the GoFundMe money. And GoFundMe should be held accountable for letting them change that up and commit fraud. Because that is what they did. They committed fraud to get that money. And GoFundMe, let, let them do it. That just pisses me off. No respect for those people that run that. Oh, yeah, she wanted money. I wonder how much she got paid by the cartel for letting them have Kylie. Because she, it was obvious looking at her post that she made on in the Lodge uh, blogs that she didn't like having Kylie around. She said it was very difficult dealing with the teenager. She never one time in all those blogs ever complimented Kylie, even though Kylie was very talented and deserved compliments by her mother. She never once complimented her. All she did was bitch about her. Now, I'm not saying that they got money that she gave Kylie to the cartel, but you look at her reaction, as we've all seen. She doesn't act like a grieving mother, never did, never has. She instead was obstinate. Look at the picture where they're all flipping us off. The only thing is, Lindsay, if you were involved, we're going to find out, and you're going down too. All right? I'm not saying that she had a part in it, but I'm just saying it's a possibility. Hmm? Right now, everything's a possibility. I honestly believe right now that Kylie's still alive. And I believe that she's living in horrible conditions right now because I know how these girls who are trafficked are treated. But there's just too too much in this whole thing to make me think that that was Kylie in that vehicle right now. Think about what I've said. Why didn't they... Ad- properly identify her normal procedures dna dental records fingerprints which would not have been attainable by the time the body had uh, decomposed so much but you still have dental records and dna there's absolutely no excuse for not identifying her with those by those means no excuse Why? If it's legit, if it was really her, if it was legit, why fudge on that? Why identify her by just the deputy walking in and saying, yeah, that's her? Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. Why did you get rid of the video footage why did you deny the video footage after it was shown to you why did you make nick's company deny the footage and even deny that he wasn't there boy i tell you what it's just like a stack of pancakes 
It just keeps, you keep flipping them on top and that stack just keeps growing and growing and growing and growing and growing and growing. Mm hmm. I don't think Kyla's dead. I think that there needs to be a massive search instituted for her. I believe she's somewhere in Mexico. For all we know, that's the reason Jagger went to Mexico. Or, that could be that she went down there with Mags and her mom. And she was handed over. Something to think about. Because there's never been any evidence of Kylie being at a party. There's no pictures. Now, if somebody wants to come out and produce one, that's great. But don't try some Photoshop crap. Yeah, and by the way, why do you think the cops came out with the fake picture of Kylie at some convenience store, which obviously was not Kylie? It was a Photoshop picture of Sammy, as far as I can tell. But it was not Kylie. And it was not taken at 6.08 p.m. Friday night. There's so much of the story that doesn't make sense and it doesn't add up time-wise. Hmm, maybe there's a reason. Maybe there's a reason. Maybe Kylie was at the party, but she was kidnapped from the party. He knows what went on that night. But 11 o'clock Saturday morning, the next day, she was at Boca with some dude. And Nick couldn't say for sure who it was that she was with. He just gave the description. There is one guy that we know that always wears the San Francisco black San Francisco baseball hat. Just saying. Not saying it not I'm not saying it's him, but I'm not saying it's not either because I don't know. I wasn't there. I do know the description sure fits though. Not all SF investigates come out saying that Nick was shown a picture of Jagger and he identified it as being him, which is an outright lie, like most of the crap he spins. Not, and again, I'm not saying it wasn't, but Nick himself, when he talked to Squirrel Girl, he said he didn't know which one it was. He just, his focus was on Kylie. His focus was on watching her and her actions, and how she was behaving. He wasn't really paying a whole lot of attention to the dude. So he says he doesn't know which one it was. He just gave the description of what he saw. All right, so the statement that he was showing a picture of Jagger and he identified it, that's an outright lie. Like I said this morning, dude's an asswipe. SF. He's like, he's like, I don't know if you ever remember that old show, Bewitched. If you're my age, you do. Remember the nosy neighbor who was always looking out the window? That's kind of like the female version of SF. The nosy neighbor. The nosy neighbor who's always sticking his nose into other people's business. One of these days he's going to get his nose removed real hard. (laughs) But anyway, think of what I've said. I mean, there's there's just a whole lot that doesn't add up. 
there's there's a whole lot that makes me think that that maybe wasn't Kylie in that car, and that something had happened to her previously. And then there was a story made up about her being at the party. I don't know. Maybe she was. Maybe she was at the party, but she didn't go in the lake that night, which I kept saying the entire time that people who were relying on this cam footage to say that's when Kylie went into the water. I was there the whole time. That was a bunch of crap. I even showed, I even did one video that showed three or four different cars doing the exact same thing as the one that Kylie, that was supposedly Kylie's car. But yet people bought that crap hook, line, and sinker. Now, she didn't go into the water Friday night, and I've said that. Go back and look at my videos. I've said that numerous, numerous times. The Nick said that was Kylie that he saw. And the reason that he went to AWP, as Squirrel Girl said in her video, this is after he had gone to law enforcement and then they come back and started saying, oh, the footage didn't exist. And his company come back and saying, oh, the footage didn't exist. You weren't even there. It was after all of that that he decided to go to AWP and tell them his story. And that's the other 90% that they didn't present. Okay? That's the other 90% that they said would blow our mind. Or make your jaw drop or whatever it was. But that's what it was. His dealings with law enforcement, them turning around and saying that the footage didn't exist. His company turning around and saying the footage didn't exist. He didn't know where else to turn because obviously he couldn't go to the cops. He already had. And so he went to AWP to get his story told. He didn't go there to try to distract him from going to Prosser. It just kills me how people come up with these. Look, like I said, I try to go by facts. I try to go what makes common sense. He didn't go there to distract them from Prosser, people. He went there because law enforcement, he knew law enforcement was covering it up. And he had to tell somebody. He had to tell them what was going on before they even found her. I'd like to know what else was said, too. I know that he talked for... 40, 48 minutes or whatever it was he talked with Squirrel Girl. And she said that she just basically asked him a couple questions and he just went off venting because he was so frustrated. She said it was very obvious that he was being 100, 110% honest and that he was frustrated about what was happening and that he knew law enforcement was covering this stuff up. That's what he went to AWP about. And that, and like I said, that's what is in the other 90% that they didn't release to us. People, there is some massive, massive corruption going on there. I'm really hoping that, and I can't really say what's going on, but I'm just saying that I'm really hoping that this comes to a screeching halt. And that I want to see a bunch of people go to prison. I want to see everybody involved in this go to prison. I want to see this whole freaking area and how they covered up murders to keep their tourism dollars. Somebody needs to pay. In fact, there's a lot of people that need to pay. Everybody involved in this needs to pay. And I really believe that there needs to be an investigation launched into where Kylie is in Mexico. Because at this point, I'm almost 100% convinced that that autopsy was not of her. There's just, there's just too much that doesn't add up. 
and that Kylie did not go into the water Friday night as a result of a fight with Sammy. Now, I don't know how involved Sammy is because it's like if you're not involved, why spin a story that's completely full of lies like she did with Tony Dodge? It's like this one clip I saw was like Judge Judy saying that if you're tell you don't have to remember truth. You don't have to stop and think and um oh gosh it's it's so really hard to remember. Uh, I just don't Yeah. You don't have to do that if you're telling the truth. You only do that if you're lying. And Sammy was lying. In this behavior panel that said that she was being honest <laughs> That's the difference, I guess, between book learning and street smarts. You get so ed educated. We used to call them educated idiots. Everything they know is out of books. Book learning. I'll take street smarts any day, as I've said before. Anyway, I just wanted to get this out. And, and again, I encourage you to watch that video that I posted because, boy, I tell you what, it is so eye-opening. It is very, very eye-opening. And you really need to watch it. You really do. It's, it'll scare you, especially if you live in California. It'll scare you. Now, it, it mostly in, in the video, it mostly talks about the L.A. area, but it is spread to other areas. In fact, it started in Northern California. Which, of course, is where Truckee is. That's what they say in the video. They say it started, it's all started in Northern California and has worked its way south. So the cartel has even had a, a longer stronghold in Northern California in the Truckee area. Because Truckee is right, right straight I-80 corridor. Right, goes by, by Reno and... For the east, all across the country. Anyway, uh, I don't know what else I can say about this other than, you know, this is just a theory. It may or may not be true. But this, this video that I watched just kind of got me thinking. And I got to thinking more and thinking more and thinking more. And finally, it's like, you know what? She may not be dead. If she isn't, I sure don't like the, the situation that she may possibly be in right now. But it needs to be looked into. And I'm going to be contacting some people about it. Because it needs to be looked into. If she's still alive and there's a chance of rescuing her, we need to do everything we can to do so. Anyway, hope I've given you some things to think about. Like I say, I don't know if I'm right or not. I don't know, but it's just something to think about. But that's where I'm leaning right now. That's where my common sense and the evidence is starting to point. All right. We'll talk to you later.